Hi welcome to our channel. In this video we will discuss some air asset that will be retiring by the US this 2024. Some of this air asset can be still used by the Philippines since they are familiar and the AFP are still using it. Before we start don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Let's start. The United States Air Force is one of the most powerful air forces in the world. But with new technologies emerging, older aircraft are being retired and sent to the boneyard for storage. However, what if these aircraft could be given a new lease of life in the hands of another country? The Philippines is an archipelago that has been a long-standing ally of the United States. With growing concerns in the region, such as the ongoing territorial disputes in the South China Sea, a stronger military presence is necessary. The United States Air Force has many retired military aircraft that are still in excellent condition and could be put to good use by the Philippine military. In 2021, as negotiations on the U.S.-Philippines Visiting Forces Agreement VFA, continue, the U.S. government has offered to provide the Philippines with several new and surplus defense articles as part of a proposed military aid package. The United States has already proposed several military aid packages to the Philippine Department of Defense, DND, many of which have been requested by the armed forces of the Philippines for several years. It is also revealed, U.S. also offered surplus F-16 fighting Falcon fighter planes if the Philippine Air Force chose the Lockheed Martin F-16 Block 70 Viper for its multi-role fighter requirements. There are some aircraft that we believe would be suitable for use by the armed forces of the Philippines, as they are on their way to the boneyard, and we believe it would be reasonable to request the transfer of some of them. Here's what we think. Obtain all three A-29 Super Tucano aircraft, as the PAF already has them. Sierra Nevada made these, and they are less than five years old. Get at least 24 A-10 Warthogs, considering the PAF conducted preliminary research on the acquisition of the type to replace the OV-10 Bronco just a few years ago. Make at least 18 operational units and 6 spare aircraft. For combat search and rescue special operaton support, the Philippine Army should request at least 12 HH-60G Pavehawks. The PAF may also consider deploying a squadron of 12 HH-60G helicopters to the 710th Special Operations Wing. Obtain a few MQ-9A Block 1 Reaper UCAVs, which could serve as a stepping stone for the PAF's future acquisition of UCAVs. More MQ-9As, including improved models, may be purchased in the future. The Philippine Navy could also be a contender for maritime surveillance and armed light attack aircraft. The PAF, PN, and PA should each receive at least three T-1A Jayhawk jet aircraft for utility-slash-staff transport purposes. Some of them were only serviced two years ago. All of the aircraft we recommended are reasonable and attainable, and will be easily supported by the services mentioned. With ongoing EDCA, the Philippines are now in good position to request for the transfer of those air asset. What are your recommendations? Write your comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.